AG Labs. My name is Ben. Hello and good morning. Welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. And today in the morning, we um, just start by an iPhone 7, which is without any function, no power in the boot, and the customer needs the important data. What I already prepared is an iPhone 7 board for um, for swap. But people, many people wrote me, please show us again some swap work, some CPU work. But um, the thing is. In 2019, I already show, did show you so much works on CPUs and swap work and things like that. And I don't want to give you the next video and always the same with swaps and things like that. Okay, we have a lot of shorts at moments, small videos, short videos um, with only a VCC main short or things like that. But for me... I take the time every day to just uh, do a video and I take the devices as they come here. So I take one, I do a video and if the, uh, if, if the damage is a bad, big damage, I do it. And um, if it's a small damage, I do it too. Because um, yeah, it's really a lot of videos. Every day one, it's hard to find uh, um, special content then, okay? Perhaps... Um, starting by February, I will just start with one video per week and this video a little bit longer and more specialized. Um, I have to see how people want it. Just give me a comment if you like um, a video every day, but I can't uh, promise that it's really a big video with um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of content or if you want um, to have one video a week or one video a month, I don't know. How to get it um, but longer and more specialized okay so we start by an iphone what's that iphone 7 plus it was mailed in because of no power no boot nothing okay let's just see if we can get this phone fixed okay i give you on hands and we will see what we can do here Data are important. So this is the phone. The first thing we always do, always, always, always do is just using our ICC Pro for checking the lightning flex and the USB control IC. Tristar or Hydra. But I think this should look good. And yeah, Tristar Hydra is okay. Dark flex is okay too. So let's check for current flow. Okay. And now we can just open up the device. And see what we got here. By the way, these are the new flying screwdrivers, Quan Li. I normally lose, use the tool screwdrivers. They are very good. But uh, Felix from Lixma in Germany mailed me these mega ideas, Quan Li, Kian Li, like ever. Um, new screwdrivers and they are really good too. So at the moment, there are really a lot of good screwdrivers uh, made in China. I got uh, the new tool press screwdrivers too. They are really, really nice, really hard screwdriver, heavyweight, nice. Okay, the phone was opened before. Okay, what's that? What's that? Somebody already opened that phone before. We have no shield here on the bottom. We have a little scratch in the flex cable. Okay, that looks ugly and I don't know why people do that and if you disassemble devices Why don't you get them shields and screws back where they should be? That's just a thing which I can't understand because if I disassemble something I reassemble it completely again
just have to answer to my wife. She got a question. Okay. Now let's see on power supply. What do we got here? Okay, we got a short on the main line, directly 5 amps. Okay. Perhaps interesting one, perhaps not. Normally it's just a capacitor or a short on, the, on an IC. But in some cases, in some cases we are lucky and we find a bigger problem behind a VCC main short. I hope at this morning today for a bigger problem because VCC main shorts, we really had a lot, a lot at the last videos. But I have to fix what I get here and iPhone X I, I did show you really a lot too iPhone X I have to fix too today until now but for them I will have a look later so just getting out the board just got one screw Okay, here we are, and we take, like ever, our Seek Pro FF, and check for short. See my code? Four times zero. <laughs> but it's... Always for for the for this phone here, I, I take it every day for the thermal cam. So I just did four times zero, done. So if anybody wants to claim my phone, do it and use four times zero. But perhaps after the video, the code is another. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So let's see under the thermal if we can see something or not. Here at the bottom, there's lighting up the queue. Perhaps another cap here. Let's see. Let's see. Only the queue. Nothing more. Okay. Top side. Oh. Interesting. Okay, we have to go to the front. That's nice. Not just like always something at the back side. Well, not like always, but often these shorts are on the back side. So we take out the shield on the front. down and let's see where the shot could be 
And next, beside to the base stand. I often saw these VCC main shorts related to caps. Next, beside to the base band. And here you see iPhone 7 VCC main. Just a small short. I want to show you under the microscope. It's crazy how many of these shorts we see every day on the iPhone generation. And you don't see anything. So no bad looking capacitor or things like that. Okay. Let's give it out. My man. Now we just get it out. Okay. No rip pads or things like that. to fill up again my contact cleaner like in every second video See that now we just need a new cap <clears throat> I just have to take a look where they are at the moment because everybody in here takes the caps just out and places it in the back back again at just some place I have always to search normally they always have their place but since um, Dennis is soldering too and he does a good job and um, more and more people are soldering here at the company and so more and more people just take them caps which they need and they just don't place it back in the right way but I will I will tell them today that, that, that this is just not possible anymore because I always have to search like okay I don't find it where they could be 
One more second, please. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's just, oh, here they are. Just basic stuff which we need here. Okay, done. Done and finish. Looks good. Take it out. Go to the on hands. Just take a screen, plug it in, hoping that the screen is is okay, because it got a scratch at the flex cable. So. Boom! We are back to life again with our iPhone 7 after just another VCC main short on the front side of the board next beside to the baseband CPU. I don't know if the customer has an individual personal image on the front of the screen so I just have to, to see first. Waiting for the boot. So, and you see, the phone is working fine again. Okay, we got all the important data. The phone is fully working. I just plug it out now. And this video is done. I hope you like it anyway. It's just a VCC main short. If you want to, to learn things like that, just basic stuff or extended stuff or CPU stuff, just what you want. You can do that at the Bottle and Repair School Germany. Starting by that year, we have individual courses, one-to-one. -one. Just write us an email, what do you want to learn? What are your skills? What are, is your, the work you, you, you can do? And we send you an individual quotation and then you can come here and you get a one-to-one -one course. Um, no problem. I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Um, give me some comments about the things I um, told you at the start of the video. And um, if you're working at a repair industry for smartphones and tablets, just join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. Um, please answer the questions, otherwise you won't be accepted because many people want to join but don't answer any questions, okay? So, and if you want to order that beautiful tool, that ICC Pro, you can do that on iccpro.de. Every technician in the world needs this tool, really. I'm out, we see us with the next video. Boom! Back to life again. Yes, Ben.